Welcome back, welcome back. I'm just trying to get you a cool view of some hyena. There's one hyena is carrying something in its mouth. So I just want to turn. Oh, if we've got hippos, this is going to be great. There it goes. I don't know what it's managed to pick up, but it has stolen something. A chunk of... Looks like a skin of some sort. Not much meat left on there. Perhaps it is going to the tailor to get a bag made, like Scott was <laughs> doing yesterday with his goat skin. No, I don't. That's terrible. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. But I wonder where this hyena is going with it. Now, hyenas are incredible in terms of being able to digest things that no other animal can digest. So even though that might not look too appetizing because there is a lack of flesh, they'll eat straight through that hide. No problem. I wonder where you're going, girl. Let's see where she goes. There's another hyena following behind. Looks like a sub-adult. Just over there. Quite a young, youngish hyena. Doesn't look particularly large. Doesn't look fully grown just yet. It's about a third of the other one. Or maybe just less than a half of the other one's size. Off it goes. Looks filthy. So I wonder what they were scavenging. This is very cool, though. I don't think that these are the hyenas or one of the hyenas that we saw getting chased by the lions. We're exceptionally far away from that area now. But off they go. Isn't that a beautiful view? <laughs> Dr. Rob, you share the same terrible sense of humor that I have. You said that it would make a, a, a very good bag. Of course, I was, we, we're just joking. We're just having a little bit of fun here. That animal ha has died, has been killed either by hyenas, it could have been killed by a cheetah or lions or a leopard, and they've come in and cleaned the scraps. So that's what I love about hyenas is honestly nothing goes to waste. Some buffalo just in the background there, really, it's, it's so great uh, that there is an animal out here that will completely clean up after well the rest of the animals which i think is fantastic some topi also just at a distance now tina from new hampshire wondering if that hyena is pregnant i don't know it looks like its mammary glands look swollen so whether it's got cubs maybe whether it is carrying, I'm not so sure. I had a very quick view of it, and as you can see, it's exceptionally far away, so I didn't really get a chance to have a good look at it. I'm wondering, I, see, unfortunately, I need to go and find some lions, and those are, you know, not going in the direction that I wanted to go in. But I'm indecisive. No, we must carry on. We must keep focus here. So the reason also, I must tell you, the reason why we left the Angamas is they turned back and they walked straight. Oh, hang on, there's Hippo. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you as well. Uh, they walked straight towards the drainage line. There were lots and lots of cars, and unfortunately, I couldn't squeeze back into that sighting. So we decided to move on. We can go there a little bit later. But they stopped hunting, and hopefully we'll find some other lions to have a look at too. But there's some Hippo sleeping in the mud. That... Uh, Looks very comfortable having a, a good um, Himalayan mud bath. It's obviously not Himalayan, maybe a Myra Triangle mud bath. I can't see why they aren't down in the river because there are huge sections of the river that aren't inhibited by any other hippos. So there, are, there is one there that looks like it has been through the walls a little bit, just on its back. Looks like it's got some wounds of some sort, whether that's, I'm pretty sure it's from fighting. But they're just happy to rest up in the mud. This is what we typically see during the drought, is when there's no water left, they'll come into areas like this. But maybe if it gets too hot, then they will head down towards the water. Perhaps it was just to stay nice and cool the evening. It wasn't too cold last night either. But let's carry on. Let's, let's go on. Those hyenas are. They're on a mission. They're definitely on a move somewhere. Now, I would like to find a hyena den, especially from those clans that we see along the escarpment. I'm sure there's a den site somewhere, or more, there should be more than one den site. But it is quite difficult to try and find them. So just checking to see if there's anyone driving behind me. So we're just taking this river road. We're having a little squiz around here along this lugger. See if there's interesting, anything interesting lurking about other than those hippos and then that cool sighting of the hyenas. Not so much. Maybe as we venture along this way, there seems to be quite a bit of game from buffalo to lots of water buck, zebra. So there should be some predators about. That's the idea anyway. If I was a lion, I'd hang around here. But it's difficult for them to hunt. It, this grass has been grazed so short. 
but there's not much for them to really hide behind. And well, speaking of checking the river, Tristan's not going to be checking a river because there's not many water systems up and down in the Sabi Sand, but he's at one of my favorite dams, Biffles Hook.